Good morning and welcome to our Sunday worship service. I'm Ginger Yoder and I'll be your celebrant this morning. I am a lifelong UU, actually born to this congregation and grew up here. And I also serve as the Director of Religious Exploration, um, which means I get to do lots of kids programming and some services and some adult ed and lots of fun stuff. Um, this service is a little bit different, as you'll see. It's a little bit smaller than usual because we are doing two simultaneous services. We have our in-person service here, and then we have a outdoor hiking breakfast. We'll call it a service. It's just an outdoor hiking breakfast at Kamiak Butte, where some of our members are this morning. Um, one special part is that the poems that we'll be using today are also being used out there. So there, um, we have some connection there. I'd like to extend a special welcome to all those who are joining us for the first time. We're so glad that you're here. If you've come in person, you should have received a welcome packet with an information card in it. If you fill that out and drop it in the offering basket, we'll be in touch to support you in finding your way into our community. If you're joining us online, there's a link on our website to an electronic version of the same card. Our welcoming committee members have yellow name tags and can answer any questions or point you towards additional information. Whether you are new or not, please consider staying for coffee and conversation after the service downstairs in our fellowship hall or in our Zoom room. And now we'll say our words of welcome together. Whether this is your first or your thousandth Sunday with us, and whether you strolled, rolled, zoomed, ran, or danced in, we are glad you chose to join us. We are one people of many beliefs, identities, origins, sexualities, and genders. All are welcome here. Now we will take a moment to say hello across the technical divide. First, we're going to show the people on Zoom. No, no one's on Zoom? Oh, we'll say good morning in spirit to everyone. They can hear me. So let's all, we'll just, good morning people on Zoom. Good morning people on Zoom. And here we are, hello. That's not such a bad way to say hello on this morning. And I don't believe we have any announcements this morning, so we can move on. We preface our service by acknowledging that our church was built on the ancestral homelands of the Nimipu, called the Nez Perce by the French-speaking tra traders, the Palouse, and the Shishumph, called the Coeur d'Alene. Let us pause and remember that we live on ground that is sacred, ground that was stolen, ground that cries out for justice and for responsible stewardship. May our remembering help us to find the courage to do our part to restore wholeness to the earth and all her peoples. We're hoping that folks joining us via Zoom have a chalice or a candle to light when something to light it with. Let us light our chalices together. Thank you, Elizabeth. In the light of truth, in the warmth of love, we gather to seek and seek to share. So not only today is a special service because we are holding our two services at Kamiak Butte and here, but we're trying our very first iteration of something we're calling Makers and Quakers Sunday. And this is a chance to be crafty and creative and a chance for some introspection and reflection. First, um, I'll give you instructions about all of the crafts and how we're going to do this in just a minute. 
But we're going to open with the, wor the words of Hans Olström. Mum is the word. In the League of Quiet Persons, the League of Quiet Persons meets monthly. Its quarters are cavernous warehouses away from traffic. Its business is not to discuss business. Minutes are read silently and tactily approved. Members listen to rain, argue with corrugated iron, a furnace with itself. Glances are learned. It is not so much refuge from noise the members seek in such company as implicit permission not to speak, not to answer or answer for, not to pose, chat, persuade, or expound. Podium and gravel have been banned, indeed are viewed as weaponry. A microphone? The horror. Several quiet persons interviewed had no comment. A recorded voice at the main office murmured only, you have reached the league of quiet persons. After the tone, listen. We will break the place of the quiet persons, though, by singing our opening hymn, Spirit of Life. You can rise if you're willing and able, or stay seated. Thank you. Please be seated. It is time for our offering. We're going to take a moment to engage in the practice of generosity together. For those of you able to make a financial contribution, the logistics are on your screen. We typically give away all of our cash from our Sunday morning offering to local charities whose missions align with our values, a program called the Month of Sundays. This month, the recipient is Leita Recovery Center whose mission is to work with people who wish to enter and engage in recovery from addictions and behavioral health disorders through peer-to-peer -peer interaction and evidence-based practices to promote a healthy community. To donate, please indicate month of Sundays on your check or from the online, online drop-down menu. In the spirit of love and the continuing work of this church, we will now take time to practice generosity together.
We're so lucky to have Alex with us today playing and running the entirety of the service. <laughs> Yay, thanks, Alex. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we should uh, make a running lane. See how fast he can do it. Time him. So it's time to start both our making and our quaking. And this morning, we're taking inspiration from the Quakers, whose meetings are held in quiet reflection among equals. In these services, there are no leaders, no agenda, no words or songs or sermon. Instead, each person sits in silence and opens their hearts and minds to spirit, who reveals itself to each in their own way. And if so moved, people may stand and say what they feel called to share, and they sit back down. However, there's an old joke that says something along the lines of, you use are just Quakers with ADHD, and we need something to do with our hands or our feet or our minds and bodies. And some of us are terrible at sitting still, and some of us, especially me, are terrible at being quiet. So we've added some poetry, some music, and some reflection time with Alex's playing in between um, to our Quaker-inspired service. And so we will have uh, the music playing in the background, and then some people have received poems as they came in, and they will be of a reflective nature um, uh, theme, and that's the, like I said, it's the same poems that are being read at Kamiak Butte this morning. And then the maker part of our service. And it, when we start, um, you'll be invited to choose any of these options around or just to sit at your seat quietly or to bring, um, I can bring something to you. The options are coloring on rocks with beautiful paint markers, which is actually really, really fun. I know. Um, one of our members makes gorgeous painted rocks. These won't be quite to that level, but it's still very fun. Um, we have something called perler beads, which is our kids' favorite thing to do. It's these little tiny beads that are plastic, and you put them on these forms and make designs, and then we, we'll have to get the iron and iron them, and they melt. And then you have a little thingy that you can take home, and if I ever don't know what to do with the children or they're like just cannot even that day, if I bring out perler beads, it's like the best day of their lives. So I invite you to try that because it's actually quite reflective. There's knitting. Um, there's a few knitting projects that have been started and some ones that could be started. There's watercolor, both with watercolors, and then these watercolor paint pens, and then Play-Doh, which is just fun to squish. So that is our, your choices. And you could always um, move between. You don't have to like choose one forever. So we'll begin. And um, we'll start with music as people find their places. And then people with poems can kind of come up one at a time. I, I trust that we can probably figure that out. And um, we can begin. Thank you.
Ah, okay, sorry. I should know how to do this by now. I'm reading a poem that apparently has no title. It is by Wendell Berry. <clears throat> I go among trees and sit still. All my stirring becomes quiet around me like circles on water. My tasks lie in their places where I left them, asleep like cattle. Then what is afraid of me comes and lives a while in my sight. What it fears in me leaves me, and the fear of me leaves it. It sings, and I hear its song. Then what I am afraid of comes. I live for a while in its sight. What I fear in it leaves it, and the fear of it leaves me. It sings, and I hear its song. After days of labor, mute in my consternations, I hear my song at last, and I sing it. As we sing, the day turns, the trees move. Sing. Such Silence by Mary Oliver. As deep as I ever went into the forest, I came upon an old stone bench, very, very, very old. And around it a clearing, and beyond that, trees taller and older than I had ever seen. Such silence. It really wasn't so far from a town, but it seemed all the clocks in the world had stopped counting. So it was hard to suppose the usual rules applied. Sometimes there's only a hint of possibility. What's magical sometimes has deeper roots than reason. I hope everyone knows that. I sat on the bench waiting for something, an angel perhaps, or dancers with the legs of goats. No, I didn't see either, but only, I think, because I didn't stay long enough.
This is by Randall Berry. So the air is full of singing. My head is loud with the labor of words. So the season is rich with fruit. My tongue hungers for the sweet of speech. So the beach is golden. I cannot stand beside it mute, but must say, it is golden while the leaves stir and fall with a sound that is not a name. It is in the silence that my hope is and my aim, a song whose lines I cannot make or sing sounds man's silence like a root. Let me say and not mourn, the world lives in the death of speech and sings there. This poem is entitled The Ponds by Mary Oliver. 
Still, what I want in my life is to be, be willing to be dazzled, to cast aside the weight of facts, and maybe even to float a little above this difficult world. I want to believe I am looking into the white fire of a great mystery. I want to believe that the imperfections are nothing, that the light is everything, that it is more than the sum of each flawed blossom rising and fading. And I do. When I Am Among the Trees by Mary Oliver. When I am among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locust, equally the beech, the oaks and the pines, they give off such hints of gladness, I would almost say they save me, and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself, in which I have goodness and discernment, and never hurry through the world, but walk slowly and bow often. Around me the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches. And they call again. It's simple, they say. And you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine.
The Peace of the Wild Things by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me, and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water, and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of the wild things, who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world, and I am free.
it's already time to start thinking about our morning closing, although I'm happy to leave any and all of this out if people want to get coffee and come back up and keep making things. I think I'm just going to keep painting rocks. Um, we can just stay where we are and sing together our closing hymn, which is Meditation on Breathing. This song starts with um, just the refrain, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then the melody comes in, and I think we've done it enough that I hope we can follow along, because I don't remember exactly how Elizabeth explains it, and I don't really sing, so... I think we just sing the part we want to sing. What, which part you feel called to? Okay. Today, by Mary Oliver. Today I'm flying low, low and I'm not saying a word. I'm letting all the voodoos of ambition sleep. The world goes on as it must. The bees in the garden rumbling a little. The fish leaping and the gnats getting eaten. And so forth. But I'm taking the day off. Quiet as a feather, I hardly move through, really, though I'm traveling a terrific distance. Stillness, one of the doors into the temple. We'll have our musical benediction, there is a love.
Please join me in jo the words to extinguish the chalice. I hope you leave this place with your spirits filled and ready to go on to the rest of the day out in that glorious warm summer. Thank you for being here and trying our little experiment. You can give us feedback and let us know. Thanks. <laughs>